All right, so uh, this is going to be me talking about just a minor, uh, a little theory from uh, Marvel's Axis. Now, Marvel's Axis, as we all know, is the big upcoming event written by Rick Remender, and it's more or less going to be about Avengers and X-Men and dealing with the whole uh, onslaught, you know, red onslaught skull deal. Uh, I'm really excited to see where that goes, but there's been a, there's been a lot of basically a lot of rumors spinning around from this series, and one of them is that a villain will take up the mantle of a hero, of a former hero that they hated. A lot of people have been saying that it might be Sabretooth becoming Wolverine, uh, which would be interesting, don't get me wrong, but the thing is, Creed's a total sociopath. Cre Victor Creed is, an is, is a complete sociopath, and he's hated Logan for the longest time. I don't think he'll be taking over that role. But it would be interesting to see how they spin it and see how they do that. And, Vi and Sabretooth was part of the X-Men for a short time in the 90s after uh, Magneto pulled out uh, his adamantium skeleton in, in, in... I'm trying to remember that event. But yeah, what happened was uh, Sabretooth was, lo it was brought to the mansion and Xavier was trying to cure him. While this was going on, we had Magneto try, uh, trying to kill humanity and he ripped out... Uh, Logan's adamantium a skeleton leaving him with the bone claws. After that, Wolverine kind of disappeared and went on uh, went off on his own and uh Sabretooth was kind of left to be like the Wolverine of the group and for a short time he was a member of the X-Men. He didn't really go out on missions. He more like uh helped found Generation X alongside Banshee and Emma Frost in the Phalanx story arc. And yeah, what, um, again, that would be interesting. That would be really interesting. And again, I think Remender would be able to pull off something like that, having Sabretooth become the new Wolverine. Personally, I still want X... I just did a video, the previous video, of me talking about how I want to see X-23 be the new Wolverine, because I feel like that's her title. That's her, you know, that's her legacy that belongs to her. Sabretooth doesn't really have that. I know in the X-Men Forever continuity... Uh, Sabretooth is like his brother, or uh, Logan's brother, or his father, uh, but that's not... Re X-Men Forever is not really in continuity with the rest of X-Men, so yeah. He doesn't really have any major connections to... Uh, to well, he does, well, other than being his arch-nemesis and ruining a, ma a majority of his life, he doesn't really have those kind of... Con uh, uh, connection... Uh, the connection he has with X-23. But I digress. So... My theory is, and I haven't really specified on a villain become taking on the hero's role, and this is where I'm going to have my theory come in. And this could easily be discredited, because I've been wrong on theories before. Oh god, yes, I have been wrong on theories a bunch of times over. So, here's my, uh, here's my little theory on what's going to happen, you know, what villain may become a, you know, take over a ma hero's mantle in, uh, in Axis. What I think is going to happen is that Magneto is going to try to take over Xavier's spot. And this has been done before. Mag um, when Charles was quote-unquote killed in the past, Magneto, uh, you know, Eric took over as the head of the school. He took over as the head of the school for a short time in honor of Xavier. And we all know that, you know, currently in the Magneto comics, a lot of it is him trying, you know, him kind of battering over himself hey, I was kind of a real dick to, exi to my, the co closest guy I can call my best friend, and I could definitely see him trying to, like, maybe unite the X, find a way to unite the X-Men once more, have, uh, you know, Cyclops' group and Wolverine's group finally just join together and maybe restart, you know, Xavier's dream, or at least carry out Xavier's dream. That could be something that you could really play with, is have uh, Magneto, who's been kind of going out Hor horribly mutilating people throughout uh, his entire series written by, <laughs> by Cullen Bunn. But what, the way I see it is that I, it would be really cool to see, you know, Magneto kind of go to that place that he's been, ki he's been kind of going there once more. That, you know, that whole, uh, you know, anti... He's gone back from villain to anti-hero and maybe the next step is for him to be a hero. Now, obviously, he's going to have to deal with a lot of adversity because, one, he kind of, abs uh, he kind of supported the whole uh, Phoenix thing until he finally realized, oh, shit, this is a really bad idea. What were we all thinking? 
and obviously he was a, he's a, he's a mutant. He's still considered a terrorist to most of the X, you know, not only to mo some of the X Men, if not most, but also to the you know to the rest of the world, the, the Avengers and everyone else. So that's going to be a lot of adversity. But it would be really interesting to see Magneto try once again to become you know, to kind of integrate himself and try to fulfill Charles Xavier's dream, if anything, on Xavier's behalf. I think that's, uh, I think that would be something really cool to see them tackle. But again, I could be completely wrong in this theory, and i and again, I know a lot of people are saying, oh, it's going to be Sabretooth becoming Wolverine, which is fine, it's just, I don't know, Sabretooth is just such a sociopath, unless they want to make him the superior Wolverine. I mean, hell, they're making the superior Iron Man, and I've heard talks of a superior Fantastic Four, so I guess superior's in now. I guess. Anyway, so, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I really want to know, guys, what do you guys think of this, of all of this? I really want to know in the comments below. I think it's something uh, that should be, that would be really interesting to discuss. Um, because, again, Magneto's been there, so why can't, you know, he's done the whole, you know, leading, uh, the Xavier school, but I'm talking like maybe he can be the one who becomes the next Xavier. He can be the one who's trying to petition for, you know, finally humans and mutants uh, coming together and live out Xavier's dream through, you know, live out Xavier's dream without the need for violence. I think that would be kind of interesting to see that kind of route taken with, uh, with Magneto. But anyway, uh, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. You guys leave me, uh, you guys tell me in the comments below. Would you guys like to see this happen, or do you think something else is going to happen in Axis? I am really curious to know what you guys think of all this, uh, because again, I could be easily wrong. I could be incredibly wrong on this whole idea. I could be completely wrong, wrong, wrong. But anyway, I really want to know what you think. Do you guys like the idea of Magneto becoming the next Charles Xavier? Do you guys at least think he'll try to find a way to unite the X-Men? Or do you think some other villain is going to take over the role of another hero? You guys comment below and let me know. And once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later. Sorry for the pause.